Hey there, it is me, Carla Cecilia, and it is Friday, September 28th, and it's payday, yay! And I promised you a video, and I promised you one that would be lighter than last week. I do still kind of want to piggy tail on the last week's video, but I've been kind of struggling with this one, because I want to put a video up that is about living up to my mom. But my struggle is that I selfishly want to keep her to myself. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put up. So here it goes. Let me start out by saying that my mom is who I model my life after. It is my mom that truly taught me how to be a woman. Inadvertently, of course, and I'm sure she didn't know she was doing it, but she is truly the one that taught me how to be a woman. She is also the one that always supported me, always encouraged me. I can remember the day that I learned that I got accepted into the Fashion Institute. She was so excited with me. And she was very encouraging. Of course, that never happened. But also, she's the one that I learned how to be compassionate from, how to do the best at everything I do, and I think those things that she has taught me, there's more, trust me. Those are the things that have helped me in all my jobs and in everything that I do. Whether I succeed or fail at it, that's a whole other story. But she is the one that I always think about when I'm having a struggle. She is the one now that I pick up the phone and call when I need to talk to somebody. She has always been there for me. And sometimes she's been there for me just in my mind and in my heart. And it's gotten me through some really bad shit. So I remember the day that I came out to her. Of all the people that I told or needed to tell, she was truly the one I feared telling the most. And I remember the start of the phone conversation. It started just like any other conversation. And then I started crying. I keep telling you guys I'm a crybaby. So I told her everything from start to finish. And I remember her words vividly in my mind after I finished telling her. She told me that this changes nothing between us. That she was still my mom. 
and that I was still her child. And that if this was what made me happy, then she was happy. And, of course, that made me lose it even more. Because the overwhelming fear that was in my heart was then replaced with overwhelming joy. And it's still to this day, and I think for the rest of my life, will play over and over in my head, and I will remember those words that she said, that it changes nothing. And I wish those words were true with everybody that I have come out to. Unfortunately, it is not. And I've had to live with some losses that really hurt. But I know, now, that in transitioning, you really do find out who supports you and who truly loves you and who truly wants your happiness. And I have found that out. And as much as I'm discouraged by losing the people that I've lost, I am 100 times more encouraged by having the people that support me. And I am truly blessed for that. And like I said, I'm selfishly going to keep the rest of my mom to me. So this is where it ends. So, as always, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, post them. Email me. Make video responses. I will get back to you. And until next week, when we continue the Chronicles of My Transition, have a great week. Love you all.